Welcome back to Two Rail Fans. We did something that we've been wanting to do for a long time this week, and that is adding fascia board to our layout. So we're going to take you guys around and uh, show you what we did today, and also point out a couple things that we have been working on. Uh, so join us for the tour. If you haven't already, subscribe. Subscribe now. Thanks, David. So you can see we were able to con uh, contour cut this um, to the profile here on the layout. And so the wood is down here. Obviously, this is just going into foam. But I put wood glue on this. And the idea of this cruise was just to help it hold at least until the wood uh, adhered. And that's, that's a good solid grip right there. One of the reasons we've been putting off doing this for a while is we want to have water in a few places on the layout. And we don't have, have room for a huge water feature, but this is going to be kind of the edge of an imaginary lake that connects to another point in the lake on the layout that we'll, you'll see in a second here. So we had to decide which technique we were going to use on here, because I've seen people just simply pour some of these liquids in, or actually what we're going to end up doing is the uh, toilet paper method promoted by uh, Merklin of Sweden on his channel. I think he has some of the best looking water. So we needed to get this cut in order to get this profile cut here. So you'll see we did leave some depth here along the edge just so we can build that water up a little bit. And I think we're probably going to cut this, um, this edge back a little bit further, but we're trying to have kind of a rocky... Uh, shoreline here down to the water. Don't want to have a cliff from the riser here down. So we were able to do that. One thing, if you step over this way for a second, David, when we were building the layout, one of our two inch pieces of foam was definitely not the exact same size. So we have a little bit of gap in here. Can you step over so you can see that gap there? And I'm debating whether I want to bother filling that or not. I think I may just leave it, but we're, we're going to paint this uh, dark green probably in the next few weeks, and I think that'll help it kind of blend into the layout. As we pan over to the, the mi middle section of the layout, um, you'll see where, first of all, I think the ballasting came out good. I still need to do cleanup on this, but pulled that tape we had off on here once the glue mixture got in there did kind of adhere. So I, same thing that I did down there. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to use joint compound. Just cover that up and touch up the base coat of paint there and we'll be ready to go. So I had forgotten the other day when I was mentioning that I want to get all this stuff done so we could do the rock painting that I still also need to ballast this section as well to do that. All right so over on this section of the layout this is on the town end. You can see we also cut back down to our bench work here and this is going to be the other section where, where this same imaginary lake connects. So we're trying to have a couple small water scenes here and over in this section we're in the process of cutting in uh, space to put two culvert pipes. I was actually going to try and use this uh, spool from from wire but that's that's going to be too big if you guys have any idea what what i might use for a couple a pair of those let me know so same thing over here we needed to get the contour cut down um, over by the edge of the layout to get that fascia board up um, and i think we're going to continue cutting back and reshaping this uh, until we get get the look we're going for so you can see it really does add a lot to the layout. This used to be, used to be looking at a huge piece of fo pieces of foam here. Just adds a level of, of cleanness to the layout and we can't wait to get this painted and working on these water features. So thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.